that sort of guy who can just break the back of a run chase early. But obviously there's this real slump, I suppose, in a team if he gets out early because you know that your big hitter, a guy who can just be electric at the crease is gone. But let's think positively because this is going to be fun. If he gets going, it's going to be a fun run chase. Well, so Hal, the actors had a few good scores at the top of the innings. But I, I think the way they're set up today, they're a far more formidable side. Because if that man on screen comes off, you win this game every time. And they won't fear chasing a big score. They've chased 188 last two games they've been here. And they've succeeded. Nicely struck. He's off the mark. If he gets cracking, then we'll have a lot of entertainment. This, by the way, is, is an entertaining pair. Lin and Fakhar Zaman. Leggy is in, playing his first game for Multan Sultans. Usman Saab, can you hear me? Can you hear me? How are we doing? Good. How does it feel to have Kadir at your back? Alhamdulillah, I feel really proud to wear this name. Big chance for you to showcase your skills today, huh? Yeah, definitely. Inshallah, I'll try my best to bowl really well here. Because that, uh, uh, the, the score is very nice and uh, hopefully I will do my best. Now you've got a slip in play. The other thing with Chris Lynn, I don't mind if he just takes a little bit of time to get himself going because Kush Deal, that was exactly what he did. He wasn't straight on it. He just took a little bit of time to get the rhythm. So my question to you guys is that, is he the breakout player of this tournament? Another query question, Kush Deal? Yeah, 25 years of age, but really hasn't been given an opportunity until now. So, yeah, I absolutely think so. Yeah, he's another one of those talented Pakistan players, gets a big stage, and away he's gone. Gets going, a slice and a single. Yeah. Usman, uh, we saw F Farzan spin his leg spinners. Uh, yep. Good pitch to ball, actually. Yeah, I think uh, the pitch is very good to ball. And uh, I think if you ball a little bit quicker, it will be very good for us. And the sight of a Chris Lynn, does it make you nervous? I know I ball him in Big Bash as well. He's a good player. And uh, hopefully I will ball really well to him and uh, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> There's been quite a few false starts from Junaid Khan. A little uncertain about his run-up. Here we go again. Shot ball, punish for four. That's likeable from Fakhar. Oh, you can't get away bowling that length here. This isn't a pitch where you bowl short. He tried to make sure it was nice and high. There's not enough pace in this pitch. It's only 141 kilometres an hour in it. Lahore bowling effort. None of the short balls were really threatening at all. Not a terrible ball, just not the right ball on this pitch. No, that's right. We've seen the pitch change as it's moved across from that quickish pitch we had. Loses the shape of the blade, but still earns a single. So not a bad start at all. Seven without a wicket. Both were born on the same day, same date. Fakhar and Chris Lynn, one in Mardan, the other in Queensland. Oh yeah, if they can combine this afternoon. What star signs that? What what date? What month was it? Aquarius. April, April 10. No, Leo. No, Leo is August. I'm no. a Leo. Oh, sorry. Aries, Aries. told. Right, come on you Aries. No airy fairy stuff. 
<laughs> that's gone. Four. I thought about saying it and I backed out. You did say it, Remo. <laughs> Trust me to handle this stuff. Oh, such kind of stuff. Well, I do like that. No airy fairy stuff there. That has been dispatched. Just helped on its way. It's not a good delivery, is it? On the thigh guard in Pakistan live streaming. YouTube.com forward slash B-Sport PK. And also uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe to the official HBL PSL YouTube channel to watch instant match highlights and exclusive video content. So many options. Cricketgateway.com as well. Crickwick.net and sports tiger.com that's a great roar oh cracking shot don't bowl him there a little bit of width and crashed well fuck as a man he's done this throughout the tournament getting off to a lightning start he's doing it again just a bit too much width thump to the boundary through point no one's stopping this Blistering. Such a good watch when he gets going, Fucker. Watch ball by ball action on crickandjiff.com. And we've got an official radio partner in FM 106.2. Hitting the hard length. I, I think you need a bit of consistency up front, don't you? Yeah, spot on. Can we talk in Urdu to him? Yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, keep going. Usman Sahib, you're coming to the sound. Yes, yes. Jeremy is back. How impressed were you with your wallet when you started bowling? रमीज भाई शुरू से इस दिन के साथ स्टार्ट किया था जब टेनिस बॉल से क्रिकेट खेलता था तो बहुत ज़्यादा इम्प्रेस था उनके स्टार्ट्स देखके उनकी सारी चीजें देखके तो बड़ा अच्छा लगता था। That is not exactly out of the middle of the bat, but still good enough to earn him three. He's done a fairly good job. He's all wired up. And that's not a bad stop at all. Usman, well done. Thank you, Miss Bay. It's too far, actually. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's always going to be having. We'll have a look at it just to make sure there was no part of the body touching the rope. Oh, okay, smart fielding, that's for sure. Well, it'll be smart if he's been able to rake it back. So, while he's touching the ball, if any part of that body, his leg, is touching boundary rope, or the protection on the rope, then it will be a four. Oh, he needs to release it. Oh, it's tight, isn't it? It's, it's hard to tell. That's a good effort, isn't it? Just for the effort, I'll let him off it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it appears to be a clean stop. The ball is flicked back into play and no part of his body was touching the, the boundary cushion. I think that's the best view we're going to get. Yeah, move on. There's a strong delay, but we're moving on. Yeah. So now we have Chris Lynn on strike. He's only faced two deliveries and I don't mind the fact that Fakhar has been at the other end, 17 off eight, and that can get Chris Lynn a little bit into a comfort zone where he knows his partner's going. He doesn't have to try and keep up with him, although the mentality of Lynn that often he, he will do that, but his natural game is. And there's only two men back, so there's plenty of options. It's going hard, all right. It's the lack of pace here, though, Rambo. Yeah. I think he likes the ball coming on. When it's a bit quicker, consistent bounce, that's his sort of deck. So that's slowness. I'd be bowling a lot of slow balls to him. Yeah, but what I like in this instance, he's got no scoreboard pressure on him at the moment. He's got a man at the other end who's striking it over 200. So 
So Lynn doesn't have to come out and straight away start trying to middle it and be striking at 200 himself. And he's got his partner's giving him a little bit of a cushion. There's no need for any silly shots early on. Oh, smashed. What a shot of the last ball of the over. Spoils the fun for Ali Shafiq, but boy, did he time it or what? You know, it's a query that has occurred just now. Whether we should be basing our, our, our cricket mentality on stats or what about the gut feeling? I think you lean on them, for sure. I don't think you play everything by the numbers. I don't think it's at that point that... You can be so meticulous. I think T20 cricket is a lot more about numbers than other forms of the game. I think they're far more important than... Oh, that's just hammered. Oh. Yeah, there's some brilliance. Brilliance from Lynn here. So if Hacker's going and now Lynn down the ground and the two shots have been what's impressed me. Playing one through the offside with width and this one down the ground. It is brute strength that he uses. He doesn't necessarily get himself in the best positions, but he just swings through the line. And my gut feel right now is that pace isn't working. <laughs> Your statistical gut feeling. <laughs> I think for someone like Bilawal Bhatti, who's not been a regular for Multan Sultans, and when you come and bowl to somebody as heavyweight as Chris Lynn, what you've got to do is to disregard the status of the guy and look to pitch the ball where you want to. Otherwise you'd be absolutely confused and gutted because he has a massive head start against you. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit like facing the legend bowlers like was a Akram in his day. And there's a highlight of the stats we've been talking about. So you might start with the quicks, but then my gut feel would change very quickly. Is if Faka gets going against the quicks, now I'm going on the stats to bring the spinners. But yeah, talking about reputations, it was very hard playing against the likes of Wazam Akram and Wakar Yunus and not think about the reputation and how brilliant they were. But you try and tell yourself, and you might have done it as well, Rambo, that you try and tell yourself, well, once that ball is released from Wazam Akram's hand, it's just another cricket ball coming at me. So I tried really hard to get into that mental phase, I suppose, of an innings, but it, it can be very hard when you're playing a reputation. I reckon w Shane Warne got so many wickets on yeah. reputation. Absolutely. Well, the problem with Wasim and Wakar facing them, and I faced them a lot of times in the nets actually, is that these guys were bowling from 15 yards. <laughs> well, that's exactly what bowlers do. <laughs> and appealing, ridiculous appeals. Ah, oh, sweetly timed. Bilawal Bhatti, not very tall, so jumping up in the air for a cotton ball. Not, ball, not to be 29 without a wicket. It has been changed. Shot ball is not going to work on this plastic track. You've got to be better than this. Come on. Yeah, if you're going to bowl this type of ball, you can't be fast. You can't be that line. And it's got to be either a bit fuller or shorter than this. This is very much a hit me ball. Fuck as a man's just got to ease it around the corner. Interesting, just picking up on that point from the last over about playing the reputation rather than playing the ball when it comes out of the hand. I just think about Chris Lynn actually in this tournament running second ball of the innings against Dale Stone and hitting it straight up the chimney. And that was purely based on the mentality he had that if he allows Dale Stone to continue to bowl that one length time and time again, he's going to get out. So that's a sign of a modern batsman playing the reputation, saying, no, I'm going to get him before he gets me. Actually, it's a, it's a good time to really to enhance your reputation by bowling to somebody like Chris Lynn. Back yourself to get him out. And that surely make the headlines. So you're looking for those headlines when you're playing an opposition, an opponent. Nice and easy. Tapalti. 
But if I'm her, I'm turning very quickly because Chris Lynn's on strike. <laughs> I don't want my back to the cricket. <laughs> Where is he going, Chris Lynn? Mid wicket or over cover? Point does it quite nicely. Oh, we've seen a couple of boundaries, and I hate to say it, but the deliveries have been pies. They really have just needed to go to the boundary because it's been served up on a plate. And Chris Lynn doesn't have to take any risk. He just gets bat on ball, threads it through. Are they overreacting? Are they overanalyzing when they're bowling to Chris Lynn? Trying to preempt almost every time? You've seen the slow ball, the slow bouncer, the wider angle, and it hasn't worked against Fakhar and not working against Lynn as well. I think step one's execution. They have not executed what they've tried to do. Round the stumps trying another variety, slow bouncer. That worked quite nicely in the end. <laughs> Yeah, well, they've surpassed their average opening stand. They've been very good throughout with their openers. They've changed it up a little bit, but Lahore, they averaged 32.56 as an opening pair. At times, it's gone wrong after that. Karachi Kings are on top of that with over 40. So they've got off to good starts consistently throughout this HBL PSL. And here's another one. Oh, finds the gap quite easily. Well managed. Junaid Khan is going for plenty. Well, once again, it's a little bit too much width. He's got protection on the leg side, so you can see where he's trying to bowl. This ball's trying to go into the body. But you can't bowl it outside the off stump. Again, it's a failure in execution. And you get punished for four as a result. Score rattling, 43 without a wicket. That's a wide ball. Is it a wide ball? Not given. Four overs done, 43 without a wicket. Inside edge will do it quite nicely for Chris Lynn. He's, he's going to tee off. Oh, where was that going? He didn't want it to go there. He'll take the result. It's another boundary and 47 is the fifth over it's a dynamite start far from leg stump and he quickly turns doesn't he five thousand runs in his t20 career and that's what he specializes in and now he's got t10 he was the player of the tournament that's how it looks so it's been changed because of uh, everything going on in the world so two semi-finals and then a final that's hit hard for six. Skimmer, flat six. Chris Lynn is turning it on. 50 is raised in no time. 4.2. Another go look low donation. 1,000 rupees. And this one, another hit me ball. It's getting to the point they can open a pie shop. Just bowling a few too many of these hit me balls. Yeah, pie shop. Pie cost. What's, what's that pie cost? Two dollars with sauce. <laughs> it cannot be serious. Oh, that's, I, I learned that in primary school. The, the, the pie cost, and everyone goes, what's a pie cost? Oh, back then it was 50 cents with sauce. Now it's two dollars. <laughs> what's that in rupees? Was, for a second, I thought you were talking about the, the match referee, Pie Croft. <laughs> Well, we wanted an exciting run chase, and we've got it. And they've got off. There's no excuse now for Lahore. They've got a platform. And it all happened late for Multan, that back ten overs, in particular the back five. So they did it in reverse. So they've got off to the start they want. They just don't want to move like the stock market in the world at the moment. Yet that downward trend. Two 
two runs for left-hander. This is an excellent start. You want this in a run chase situation. Current rate, 12. Required is 8.54. If they carry on like this, this could be over in a jiffy. Oh, absolutely. I what they have done previously and early on in this season is find ways to lose the unlosable. And now they're actually starting to put on strong partnerships and win games of cricket. Yeah, and the good thing is someone like a Ben Dunk, he's missed out the last two innings. So prior to that, it was the 99 and he's due. He's just had a couple of games where he's been off after that. His strike rate is right up there in the tournament. So he's due to go big. But it can, as you say, Dirk, it can go wrong very quickly. You have two bad overs either way with ball in hand. And that's already happened for Multan with ball in hand. They've had more than two bad overs. But if a wicket or two fall very quickly, it can change very quickly. Oh, that smashed. Brilliant shot. Really was exquisite from Chris Lynn. And what a fantastic start this is. Good calling, good running. Important that they rotate strike. Dustak dance moves. Well, and we're going to check it out with uh, Dirk and Butch before they head off. But uh, the part game has been on, so the dance moves should be coming out soon. Yeah, the pouting has been uh, second to none here in Lahore today. Erin Holland might disagree, but we've been pretty good, the three boys. We've been calling for Chris Lynn to uh, open the innings, and uh, his explosive style of batting is certainly what is required in this run chase. 123 now from 87 deliveries, and this partnership, the strong partnership at a run rate of 11.64, has really set it up for Ben Dunk, who you guys have been talking about came in at the 12th over the other day and he really got going so who knows what's to come oh well, the interesting thing is Cass Chris Lynn batted three in the previous game where he made uh, 50 and he's been put back to the top of the order to open with Faka this time both of them made half centuries in that run chase against Zalmi and perhaps the uh, the think tank just thought well these guys are going well together let's put them out left and right again today that's powered away, Chris Lynn style for four. It's not good bowling, but you still got to capitalise and the dugout is appreciating it. This is fast turning into a practice game. Just a shot a minute. They've been served up some nice juicy back of a length stuff. <laughs> I didn't hear you in the first five overs, Dork, Dirk, talking, Dirk, you dork. <laughs> There's no need for that, is there? We're all, we're all friends here. Talking about opening up a pie shop. Oh, boy. Well, Chris Lynn, could this be his day? Beautiful day in Lahore. And uh, the locals will be hoping that uh, Calendas can get over the line. That will send them powering into the semi finals. Multan and uh, Karachi already confirmed. How great to have the final day of group stages still so alive. Quetzal fans will be hoping, though, that uh, Multan win here at Gaddafi Stadium. Well, whatever he's uh, doing at the moment, he's getting gold, is uh, Chris Lynn. End of the power play, 72 without loss.